Hey friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we are going to be making a mini slimline shaker card. So let's talk about what we're using. Today I have the Tada stamps and matching dies. I just love this stamp set that is so great for maybe a birthday or just telling anyone how special they are. We're also going to be using the Puffy Cloud Layers stencil. I have some embellishments and then I do bring in the mini slimline clean and simple panels and I went ahead and cut out the biggest panel and then I took the smallest cut along with the rectangular uh, piece that will cut out rectangles I used those together to make a frame and so we're gonna layer those up on top of each other and our shaker will be in there but before we get into that we're gonna do some stenciling I'll bring out that awesome pef puffy cloud layer stencil and you can see I have all those distress inks up on the side that's the color palette we're going with. I did tack this down with a little bit of tape just to make sure it didn't move. And then I brought in my blender brushes. And that first color is mustard seed. And then I'm gonna do mustard seed again. So we're gonna do roughly two of each except that last color. I'm working our way up our panel. Our panel ends up measuring three inches by six inches. Our next color is abandoned coral. And then I'll just blend that. I love this stencil for so many reasons. You know, I just flipped this over here. That's all I did. So I'm using the same side. I just flipped it and that'll give you another look. So you have so many options for looks here. Uh, and then I cleaned off my stencil and now I'm gonna bring in that dusty Concord. That'll be the next one. And then I'll just flip it again and we'll use the back side of that stencil. And I'm kind of overlapping and I, I love the way that looks. We have a very little bit at the top that we can use. So that's where I'll bring in our chipped sapphire and then we'll just blend that down on the top after I've flipped the stencil again. So we have that light, nice blue into a purple into like a peachy coral color into that yellow. And I love it. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of splatter cause why not? I'm bringing in the Trinity Gold palette. I don't know if this is available in the store yet, but if you want it and it's not there, go ahead and you know put your name in for the email, but take a look at that. Oh, there's just something about splatter. <laughs> I love it, especially on clouds. Okay, so now for our little um, shaker pouch is basically what I'm gonna call it. I have the piece that I cut out and now I'm taking some, this is one eighth inch tape and this seemed to work perfectly. It just fit right over all the pieces. It worked great. So I'm just lining that all along that background and I have two pieces of some acetate or in this case, actually I'm using transparency sheets. I get them in bulk. And so I'll pull off all of that release paper from our, um, one eighth inch tape that I used. And that'll work really great for holding down our transparency sheet. So I'll just peel away the whatever the tissue paper piece. And then I'm peeling off the pieces as I, you know, get to them. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to using some foam tape. And this is a very skinny foam tape. It's, it, it worked perfectly as well. It's like an eighth of an inch of a foam tape and then I'll peel off all the release paper on that. Make sure you do that before you put your bits in there because otherwise you're gonna end up with a mess. Ask me how I know. Uh, now I'll grab out my little scoop and do my best not to attach my hand to <laughs> the foam tape, which I was unsuccessful. <laughs> so I do get a few of those little sparkles in different places, but I'm just scooping some in there and I was pretty liberal with that. The next piece I use, and these are little stars. Uh, they don't have those in the store, but there are so many, uh, you could get similar ones in the store. But I am gonna go bring in the glowing sky embellishments. Oh my gosh, these are great all on their own, just the way that they are, but they glow in the dark. And yes, my friends, it is so cool and so much fun to put a glow in the dark element on your card. So I'm just putting a few in there and then I'll take that next piece of acetate and stick that down. So that will just encase everything. That's so I don't make a mess because believe me, before I figured this out, I always made messes with my shakers. Now I will take some um, liquid glue, just a very thin line because I don't want this seeping all over the place. And I'll put that all over that back, frame it up and tack it down. And now that that's tacked down, we can move on to our stamping. So I'll pull out the Tada stamp or the big stamp in there, one of the big stamps. I love it, it says, after God created you, he said, ta-da, 
<laughs> and I love it. I love it so much. But what I love even more is that the matching die will cut out each of the words. Yes, you heard that correctly. So I stamped that on to some Express It cardstock using some Blackout Ink by Ink on 3. And now I am going to color in the words that can be colored. I have some R32. Then I'll come in with a little bit darker color, R14. And the one thing with the, the R's I've noticed in the Copic line is that they they bleed very badly. So just be careful. As you can see, I do have a little bit of bleeding there. And uh, so I'm going to bring in my... Um, whatever they call that <laughs> it's not a it's not an eraser but it it just pushes the color back in i'll remember one of these times and then for our yellows we're just going to use two colors and i'll put those up on the screen for you and then we'll blend that out just a little bit but i always love to do ombre with these i i don't know why i just love it it's my go-to so now we can bring in the matching dies and you do have to do this two separate times because they won't all fit on there at once so i'll do god and tada Tack that down, run that through my die cutting machine, and then I'll bring in the other two dies. I'm telling you, I love this. Gives you a lot of possibilities. So I'll tack that down, and I'll run that through the die cutting machine, and then I'll have all the words ready to be put on there. So there they are. Love it. All right. Our shaker is ready to be put together. So I'm going to tack down the word God just using that liquid glue, and then we'll do the words after and then we'll put created you because I want the rest of the words to be on the inside after God created you he said ta-da and I know he did friends I know he did all right so our since this is a mini slim line our card is going to measure three inches or six inches by six inches score it at three inches so when it's closed it'll be three inches by six inches I'm going to do a little stamping on the inside, so I'm going to bring in the hands because I can just imagine all the angels clapping after you were born, <laughs> after he made you. And I'm going to stamp that down with some fade out ink. And it's light, so I'm going to stamp it twice. And I did that because I do want to be able to write over the top of that to my recipient. And this is a perfect way to do it, really. The fade out is just enough. And then now I can glue down our ta-da and he said. So I'll put those on the inside. So wouldn't this be a fun card to send as a, either a birthday card or just for somebody, just to encourage someone to remind them of how amazing they are. Because sometimes I think we forget that. And now I'll take my panel and I'll glue that down to the front using that same liquid glue. And once that is on there, that will finish the card. I love it so much. And I love that stamp set, just love it. So there it is, shaking around. And then I'm going to hold it up to the light. You won't see me do that. But I'm going to show you what it looks like to glow in the dark. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. So glittery and glow in the dark makes me happy. All right, kids. So that's going to be it for today. I'll show you some pictures afterwards. But if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. And definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Be sure to check out all that Trinity Stamps has going on over on their YouTube channel and their blog, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, we're there. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.